What's going on, Washington Commanders Nation? It's your boy Rio Robinson back with the latest greatest on the Rambling with Rio YouTube channel where we ramble about the Washington Commanders. NFL free agency's legal tampering period began about an hour and 50 minutes ago at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, meaning players can start negotiating contracts and Washington has made its first outsourced signing of the offseason. They signed Danny Johnson to a two-year deal. We knew that was probably coming, but the first signing of the 2023 offseason for the Commanders is offensive lineman Nick Gates of our division rival New York Giants. If you know who Nick Gates is, if you were at FedEx Field in 2021 on that Thursday night in week two, Nick Gates suffered one of the worst leg injuries we've ever seen at FedEx Field. And you know our stadium is known and has pretty much trademarked and patented severe gruesome leg injuries i remember being there that night sitting on the 50 yard line and his leg was turned in the opposite direction this is a guy who played center for the giants he offers what ron talks about in every single presser he's ever had position flex he's played a lot of snaps at center and a lot of snaps at guard and last year when he came back for the 10 games after he returned from his gruesome injury first of all amazing story Amazing story for Nick Gates to be able to return to football. He had what my little Southern boot calls a fib tib injury, which means he broke his fibula and his tibia, two parts of his leg during that injury. But yeah, man, this is a guy who's played last year. He played 258 of his 390 offensive line snaps at left guard. And the under the other 132 snaps were at center before his injury. He was a center. So what this does is this puts, Chase Rouye on notice. The reason I would have pause for this signing is we're giving a three-year deal to another center with serious injuries. Chase Rouye has played 10 games in the last two seasons with severe season-ending injuries, and we're signing a guy who last year came back from a gruesome injury. Not just any gruesome injury. It was an injury we saw. Like, I've seen this. I was there when his leg was facing the opposite direction. I'm glad and I'm happy for him to be able to get back. And I hope he can come here and be an essential and focal part of our offensive line. But the injury history gives me pause. He's a decent lineman. Giants fans are sad to see him go. They love the story and they said he's a dog. I seen a clip of him throwing hands with somebody. He's a dog. He was one of the vocal and like heartbeats of their offensive line, but He's not a world beater. He's, I don't know what the numbers on the contract are yet, but I don't imagine they're nothing too crazy. But he gets a three-year deal with the Washington Commanders. I'm interested to see how things shake out for us because with the Deron Payne signing that took place yesterday, we cleared up nine over $9 million. Well, We're coming into the day with $25 million plus to spend in cap room. And our first signing outside of the organization is center guard, Nick Gates of the New York Giants. Let me know what y'all think of the signing below. That's all I got for right now. Every time we make a signing, expect me to hop on here and give it a quick, immediate reaction. Don't love it. Don't hate it. We'll see. We needed help on the offensive line. It's the main focal point of the offseason. Protect the young quarterback so he can have a chance to prosper. Our O-line was not it last year. Let's see what other moves there are to be made. Mike McGlinchey just got $87 million from the Denver Broncos. Things are happening. Um, Hargrave from the Eagles went to the Niners. Things are moving and shaking league-wide. The Texans are shopping Laramie Tunzel. Austin Eckler is asking for a trade. It is NFL Christmas when it comes to free agency here, man. But Nick Gates, I'm wondering where we play him. Are we thinking about him as a left guard or are we thinking about him as a center? Because if he's here to play center, Chase Rouye's days in Washington are numbered. I don't know what the deal on this. I don't know what the numbers on this contract are yet, but I imagine we're not going to have two priority signings playing one position here. And, you know, Ron can't help but salivate over anyone with position flex, position versatility. That means that he could play all the way down the line. Okay. Okay, no, right off the presses, the Washington is making another signing. So let me wrap this video up. Uh, matter of fact, 
Andrew Wiley is signing a three-year, $24 million deal with the Commanders. Chiefs' former right tackle, Biennemi, gets one of his guys. So, okay, we're going heavy on the O-line to start free agency. We get one of Biennemi's old guys. Oh, shit, let's go. Okay, upgrade the line, Riverboat. Andrew Wiley, Chiefs fans that I know, they said he's not great, but he's serviceable and he's a starting right tackle. We have got tackle and center off the board to start free agency. He gets a three-year, $24 million deal, $8 million a year. Andrew Wiley signed to the Washington Commanders fresh off the presses. What do you know, man? I'm sitting here talking about one signing and another signing's already on the way. Wiley started 59 games in five years for the Kansas City Chiefs and had the game of his life in the Super Bowl against Philadelphia. Let's go. Washington's making moves. Y'all wanted an O-line to be revamped. You know what this tells me? We could draft a corner in the first round of the draft because we already done signed potentially two starting linemen on the first two hours of free agency. Protect your investment. We want to see if this quarterback's a guy. We already got the weapons in place. We got to protect them. So we go from Nick Gates to Andrew Wiley. What a time. What a time to be alive. Washington is getting some O-line help at multiple positions. Another guy with position flex, but I imagine he's definitely here to play right tackle. Like, period. He's here to he's here to play right tackle. Okay. Let me find out. I don't think there's going to be any major signings that the team... Well, this is a major sign. We got a starting right tackle, but don't expect us in on, like, the top shelf free agents expect us in on the guys that you can get on a good bargain because that's how we shop here but whenever anything else comes out i don't care if i'm walking down the street i'm gonna get some content out welcome to the washington commanders and welcome to the dmv andrew wiley and nick gates hopefully y'all are both here to start to compete and to put some defenders in the fucking dirt because you know we can need we can use the o-line help Let's get it. Hell to the Washington Commanders. Keep the signings coming. It is NFL Christmas Day because the offseason is under full swing. Until next time, hell to the Washington Commanders. Holla at your boy. Deuces.